Hey guys, I've been using this fireplace for a while and if you look at my room, it has vaulted ceilings. So no matter how uh, long I run this fireplace, it could never heat up the room. And recently I went to my friend's house and they had this awesome fireplace blower running and we were pumping a lot of heat outside. So I thought I could install that too. So bought this one from Amazon. Uh, Hawaii. Uh, anyway, Amazon has several of this. Um, they all range from uh, 80 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna switch it off so I can put the motor in. So if you want the sensor, uh, the thermostat, uh, yeah, and uh, speed control and everything, it's like 80 bucks. If you just want the fan blower, it's like 67 bucks. So I got the one with the thermostat, uh, so it uh, auto shuts off, and it's. How much did I pay? Eighty-six dollars. Timo, it's nothing for you. Move. So let's see. Oh, there's no insulation or anything. Just the unit in the box. Uh, instruction manual, manual and some velcros okay. okay yeah it is pretty wide so here is everything this does not look new okay here is everything that came in the box there's your uh, that's a single motor unit do your fan on both sides Okay, and it's all pre-wired. Power wire. That's your speed control. And that's your temperature sensor. And has a magnet to it. So I'm gonna slide the motor all the way in. All the way into that corner. And just gonna use the plug over there. For the sensor for now to test, I'm just gonna put it somewhere here to see how it works. Yeah, so that's good. There's power coming here. It's barely hanging on a single nut here. Okay, let's move the motor over there. It's a tight fit, so I'm just gonna remove this and see if I can get some more space here. Okay, just make sure that you don't knock any wires. For now, I'll give it for now. Where's the temperature sensor? I'm gonna put the temperature sensor. I'm gonna do it here for now. Okay. Okay. Just plug in and. Let's turn this guy. Okay, power on. So everything is good. And okay, turn on the fireplace. Okay, fireplace is on. And I guess we have to wait for 10 15 minutes. But the temperature to reach like 120. So the sensor will. Uh, Shut the circuit and that should turn the motor on. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and the fan is not on it. And I moved the sensor a little bit and yeah, it, it just turned on. Okay. Just turned on. I think uh, the sensor, uh, the instructions are wrong. You need to go all the way up for the max speed. So the fan is running. Okay. I'm getting all the dust from here. There, I can feel the hot air come in. And 
Yeah. Can't believe I used the fireplace without this for almost six years. It's crazy. I can definitely feel the warm air. You can definitely see it's blowing. Nice level. I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. Uh, can you raise the fan speed? Keep going. Okay, now I can't hear anything. Make it full. Full speed. Keep it at max. There you go. So installation is pretty much nothing because it's all pre-wired. Uh, only thing you have to do is just slide it in and find a place for the temperature sensor. It's right there. And uh, I use the regular one, not the fan, because as I said, you need to jump those two uh, if you want to use the fan. Okay, the fireplace is off. Motor is still running. Kind of get some warm air but it should shut down in probably 10 minutes or so but there you go